Hello, this is Matthias, and this for the first time in a very long time, this is going to be a video where I play exclusively Heavy Assault. It's going to be uh, mostly TR, but in the beginning here I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, NC gameplay. I'm using the EM6, which is a fantastic weapon for uh, mid-range, mid and uh, longer mid-range. At close range though, it is just like uh, most of the LMGs, not all that good. Against a shotgun, for example, close range, you are basically chanceless. Now, the thing about the EM6 is that I find it to be very easy to control when you're aiming down sight. And if you're looking for a weapon that doesn't require all that much recoil and spread control, then this is definitely a weapon I recommend. Uh, assuming you play uh, NC, of course. Might actually come out with a bit of a review of this weapon in the future, who knows. I also did save up quite a number of uh, rocket versus infantry kills. Uh, the reason for that was because I was planning on making a non-intended purpose video again, but after using it a bit, I checked out the, the description of it, and it's actually not an AV weapon. It is a all-around weapon, much like the heat of the tanks or the rocket parts of the ESFs. So uh, no non-intended purpose video this time. So yeah, I also want to show you this reaction that I got from that infiltrator. We traded and uh, yeah he <laughs> seemed very happy about it and uh, yeah it, it brought a smile uh, to my face I have to admit it's uh, I, I really appreciate you guys following my channel and I understand you want to get me on your keyboard and, and some such that's uh, perfectly yeah perfectly understandable now I have a hard time deciding whether or not I'm gonna use the iron sight or if I'm gonna add one of the scoops to the t9 carve it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit indecisive here, but lately I've been using the uh, one-time reflex uh, sight, as I've been using with almost all my guns uh, for the last couple of months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, yes, I'm Fucking grenade got me. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna add all that much uh, Vanu gameplay in this video. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that later as well. Here, I'm using the Orion, the default LMG for the Vanu Sovereignty Heavy Assault class. It's the only uh, Vanu LMG I've ever used, and uh, I haven't seen any reason replacing it. It's actually a really good gun, but uh, yeah, I'll try to cover it in the future as well. I just want to point out also that uh, with all three uh, empires, I'm using the forward grip for my LMGs. And she's getting found So you may have noticed that some of the footage here is uh, a bit old, and that's because I I haven't been playing Heavy Assault all that much, and uh, yeah, I've been switching it up a lot with Engineer, Light Assault, and uh, Medic. Now the one-hit kill with the rocket launcher makes it very effective in a lot of situations where you just can't stay in line of sight of your enemies enough to kill them with uh, any other weapon. I think, oh, there is... Uh... Oh, it is, of course, equally effective against players of your own empire. Alright, right, killed one burst to mix. Unfortunate. See you tomorrow. I'll see you, man.
That's what I kind of realized with uh, the rocket launchers that I normally bring it out to kill a max or to destroy a tank or a Sunderer and uh, then I deal a little bit of damage or it moves away and then instead I kill infantry with it which is sometimes a bit controversial looking back at some of the reactions I've been getting from uh, killing infantry with a Hellbird or AP rounds which is actually a lot harder to do because with uh, dedicated anti-vehicle weapons you have to actually direct hit your opponents but with the default rocket launcher you can rely on the splash. You'll see some more of it uh, later on in the video. You got the Arax and the Locust yet. Yeah. As I'm sure you can tell, and as I'm sure you already know by now if you've been following my channel, I always burst fire in these types of situations. I've tried a little bit to hip fire and to uh, run and gun with the, the LMGs, but I haven't had that much success with it. Normally you will go up against uh, players with the shotguns and dedicated close quarter guns that you're just going to be chanceless. However, if you do play your role well at mid-range with your LMGs and uh, with whatever weapons that are good at mid-range, you're going to make it much easier for your teammates to advance to those close quarter situations and uh, it's just a natural part of teamwork. If you're good at fulfilling your role, then you're going to make it easier for your teammates to fulfill their roles. And just like always, even if it is a lot easier to stand still or even crouch down while you're shooting, I try to never do that. In almost all situations, even though I'm shooting at quite long range, I try to move around. And even if it isn't the biggest and fastest movements, it's going to deny most of the snipers to get those headshots on you. At the same time, it will demand a lot more control and a lot better aim from you, compared to if you would uh, make these shots while standing completely still. Oh, I can shoot the rockets and infantry here with my heavy assault. Where? Uh, strike a mid. Uh, strike mid down. Yeah. Oh, you're shooting down. Yeah. And so we also have these lock-on rocket launchers. Now the first weapon, the first lock-on um, weapon in Tensor 2 that I ever used was the crew uh, of the heavy assault class of NC. It locks on to ground targets. And I try to motivate myself to say that, yeah, it's not all that boring and all that. And the thing is that it was quite effective uh, as a dumpfire rocket as well. But uh, with the introduction of more and more lock-ons and uh, the way lock-ons stack and the way they affect the game, I was really disappointed with it and I decided to switch from Heavy Assault to the Engineer. And of course later I've also been uh, trying other classes. But well, that is the reason, if you wonder, that is the reason why I haven't been playing Heavy Assault for such a long time. And instead I have been spending my search in other areas. And yeah, I know you don't have to use lock-ons just because you play Heavy Assault, but once I started to search other classes and vehicles, I also, of course, wanted to use them. So, as the last part of this video, I just want to show you this camping position that I found. I've seen other players be here, and I didn't know this position would be this good. Uh, it is, of course, depending on your enemy's movements. In this case, the NC has taken a them, and they are moving down to capture the broadcast hub. This was quite irritating. My gun is fully loaded, but I still trigger this uh, reloading animation uh, the moment I switch to it. I don't know what's up with that, but it's quite irritating, actually. Anyway, that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm uh, hoping to come out with some more heavy assault gameplay in the near future, so please stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye for now.